I didn't have really bad symptoms at all. A little bit of diarrhea, headache, fatigue, weakness, and chills. I thought I would recover from it quick, and I did. I got right back to sports. Four weeks after COVID, I went to play in a basketball tournament, and I went to my friend's house to stay the night. She called me to come and get her because she was not feeling well. I checked her temperature. It was 103.8. I was really short of breath. I had really bad abdominal pain, headaches, fatigue, weakness, and I just started getting worse and worse. That's when the doctors really started talking to us about multi-system inflammatory syndrome. It is an inflammatory response that attacks the children's organs. It attacks the heart, the brain, the skin, kidneys, liver, lungs. I was very scared. My parents were scared. I was in congestive heart failure and they gave me immunoglobulins, steroids, blood thinners, heart medicine to make my heart pump. Leah ended up spending five nights in the ICU. My 10-year-old daughter Elizabeth started feeling sick with a sore throat. And from then, we were dropping like flies. It took about 12 days for COVID to work its way through our house. We got through it all. We thought the ordeal was over. My youngest daughter, Vivian, came in from playing outside and cheeks were red. I couldn't really get the fever lower than 101. The doctors, they checked her ears, they checked her throat. They couldn't find any infection. They sent us home. She's getting sicker and she's got a rash now and she's complaining her stomach hurts. Her legs weren't working. By the time we got to the emergency room, she was limp and truly almost septic. It took about 24 hours for us to get to a point where they could confirm that it was multi-system inflammatory syndrome. We're just really grateful that we got our little girl because if we had waited another hour, if we'd waited another day, we could have had a really different outcome. I was begging to go home the first time that I stepped foot in my hospital. I was very anxious. My community really came together and when they heard I was out of the hospital, they wanted to throw me a welcome home parade. And all my friends and family were there, my softball team, my coaches. I'm getting stronger every day. I do cardiac rehab to improve my heart, just to get into some physical activity. I have build up some anxiety from this. It just made me really scared. I want people to see my story because I want people to take precautions for their kids so we can save another person's life. COVID is real and it can attack any kid at any time. We need to wear our masks and wash our hands and stay social distance. This is hashtag our stories. What's yours? Subscribe for more stories of people changing their world.